What's going on everybody? Joe here with Excursion Cuts. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at a really simple technique to add motion blur to certain elements within Premiere Pro. Adding motion blur to certain elements may seem like a simple enough task, especially if you're used to programs like After Effects where it's more or less just a switch. You know, you highlight the track that you want to add motion blur to, you enable it for the entire composition, and anything that's going to move, video clip, text element, whatever, is going to have motion blur applied to it. That's not the case in Premiere Pro. We don't actually have a switch for this. If you look over here in the um, effects control panel, you're always going to have these transform controls. So let's say I wanted to animate this text. So I've got it right now kind of centered, but let's say that's kind of how I want the whole thing to end up. I'll, I'll add a keyframe for position, come over here back to the beginning-ish, and I'm just gonna add this over here to the right. Spread these out a little bit. And here's what we've got. So as this moves in, and even I'll speed this up a little bit, you can see that it actually doesn't have any natural motion blur to it. And that's what you're gonna get if you use the transform controls that are up here in the effects controls panel. So let's try this a different way. I'm gonna disable these, get rid of the keyframes. So now our text is actually not moving. Everything over here in the uh, effects controls, um, transform controls is blank. But I'm gonna come down here to effect, and I'm gonna type in transform. Grab this, add this to the clip. So there's actually an effect called transform that you can add to your clip. And you'll notice something familiar. It looks practically identical to what we see up here. But here's the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and animate this again. I'll set a keyframe for position, move over here towards the beginning, go over here to my X axis controls and just simply move this off screen. Now what we'll see when we play this, something similar to what we had before, right? But if you come down here to shutter angle, this is, we'll set this to 180 degrees. Whoops, so we can type in some values here. Set that to 180. Now check this out. So now we've got some motion blur that bears a striking resemblance to what we would get inside of After Effects if we simply toggled on that switch. All right, so let me give you guys an idea of what that looks like on and off. Again, this is an effect, so we can toggle it on and off. Right now, and I realize this may not be super easy to see on YouTube, but you can see a fair amount of blur applied to this. I've got this in mid animation, so you can kind of get a feel for what the motion blur looks like. But watch what happens when I toggle this off. You guys see the difference? So really easy way to quickly add motion blur to your elements inside of Premiere Pro. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly appreciate the support. I'll see you next time.